today's video is a little bit different. Tim and I have swapped places. I'm going to run the tractor and Tim's going to take the video. I don't have a lot of experience with this type of rotary cutter, but I do use Johnny all the time to mow the yard with the mid-mount mower. I'm comfortable with the tractor. Hopefully I can get comfortable with the mower too. This is an area along the side of our property that the previous owner let grow up. I knew the wide open spaces wouldn't be very hard, but I was a little concerned about all the trees. I was trying to watch out for a lot of things. One of it's that light on the side there. I have knocked one of those off before. That was a long time ago. I was excited to get rid of some of these bushes. I thought I could just back into it slowly and get up over it. Eh, that didn't really work. Tim kind of yelled over at me and told me to raise up the mower and then I could back over it. Wish I'd have thought of that on my own. But you know what? I'm a newbie and that's okay. I'll learn over time. Tim told me later to put the mower down quickly so it doesn't throw out as much debris. I'm sure Tim would have been faster at this, but that wasn't what this evening was about. I'm not going to know how to use the equipment until I actually run it for myself. I like it. Yeah? I just wish I didn't have to swivel my head so far, especially today. I kind of got a headache and a neck ache. Look. Am I a pain in the neck? Not you. <laughs> Never you, Tim! Now, you're actually out here doing something you've begged me to do, I think, every day since before we've moved in. Uh, yes. I like to see things clean and not weedy and not brushy. So I was wanting to clean up the side of the yard. So you're saying I should have shaved this morning? Uh, that might have helped. Uh-oh. Yeah, I like it. It's small enough for me to feel like I can handle it. I'm going to have to get used to which way to turn the I steering noticed that. wheel. <laughs> I, yeah. But this is... This is the first time you've really run a bush hog mower. Anything, any right. mower behind the tractor, right? Yes. Okay. So I think you must be... I have to turn the opposite way of which I want to go or something. I don't know. You'll figure it out. I don't know. But anyway, it feels good to be able to get out and do something I've wanted to do and feel like I could do it myself. Yeah. Well, don't let me stand in your way. Lots more to do. I am going to have to trim the trees back so I can. I don't feel like I'm, I'm getting them with the rops. Well, maybe if we stand the tractor up on end, you can mow yeah. them with the baby rhino. Maybe, yeah. That would be good. I think that's what we'll call it, baby rhino. What noise does a rhino make? I don't know, but they charge. Okay, I'm getting ready to charge then. I find this tractor just as easy to drive as our old riding lawnmower. Here I'm still having a little bit of trouble knowing which way to steer, but that's because the cutter sticks a long ways back there. The longer I mow, the more comfortable I got with the baby rhino. 1025R is actually very easy to maneuver. When Tim first said he wanted a little tractor, I wasn't so sure. I was used to a riding lawnmower. One day he took me to a John Deere dealership. He had the sales guy let me drive the 1025R. When I realized how short it could turn and how easy it was to drive because of the hydrostat, I decided it might be okay. We could give it a try. Using this rotary cutter isn't a whole lot more difficult than mowing with the belly mower. I did have to be careful of where I swing the back end. Sometimes you might get close to the camera person. I did get more comfortable at backing in towards the trees and knowing which way to turn the steering wheel. It didn't really matter though. We had all evening, so I wasn't really pressured. If you haven't tried it before, just go ahead and give it a try. Don't be intimidated. What do you think now? Well, I still like it, but I'm, I'm afraid I'm going to tear up your lights. Yeah, I think you're a little bit too timid. I'm too timid? Yeah. So... With the top of the rops anyway. Okay. It looks to me like you've got this mode up pretty good. Yeah. 
It's uh, cutting finer than I thought it might. Am I yelling? I've got all my ISO tunes for hearing protection. I'm surprised at how good it looks after it's done. I thought maybe we'd have to come back through with another. Um, well, you probably will. Okay. okay. I mean, but I think you now could come up with a finish mower if you wanted. Oh, really? Oh, yeah. I was wondering if we were going to have to till it and then seed it or something. Well, you know, last year what we mowed off is grown up in grass. That's true. Okay. Well, I got a little bit of daylight left. I'm going to start in there. Uh -oh. Am I doing okay? You got any pointers? She's taking all of, of our future, you know, fun testing projects away, isn't she? I'll just do back to that little... Uh, it's look. okay. Do however much you want to do. You guys heard that. Uh-oh. I got a little nervous when I heard all of that, but I don't think I was going to hurt anything, and I should have just stayed with it. Not only was I timid about the rocks, but I was also, I think, timid about the mower itself. This is a new one from Rhino, and I really didn't want to destroy it. Now I'm pretty sure that nothing I could have done with it would have destroyed it, but I was just nervous then. It took a little time for me, but I just kept going over these limbs and the mower was able to chop them all up. Again, a more experienced person would have done this faster, but I'm just learning, so patience is always the key. Next time I'm in and around trees, I think I'll fold the rops down. There was no way I was going to tip over here, so the rops down would have been just fine. I like being able to back under the tree. You can't do that with a mid-mount mower. Well, I'm finally learning to get the mower deck set down a little bit faster. I'll get better with this as time goes on. I'm also learning to keep going backwards to chop up the tops of the trees, or little saplings that I've cut down. I had to work at it, but I was able to get all of that bush. Here I challenge myself to get this one little sapling that's right by the tree. I go over it a couple of times and eventually I think I have it cut off. When I can finally see behind me I realize uh, it didn't cut it off so I have to try again. This time I got it. Tim, I don't know how you do this with your neck turned like that all the time. Well, a lot of times I use my left foot to drive okay. and turn my body around a little more. Try that.
Okay, so this is a bit awkward and would take some getting used to, but I think it would work. Did that work for you? Yeah, it's better. I just, I'm not used to it. Yeah. So I think I pushed down harder or something. Like I went forward faster than I really wanted to one time. And I, I would have to get used to it. Yeah, but I it's, think it's a little better. Um, Cause you don't have to crane your neck as bad. Some of the big farm tractors have actually seats that will rotate oh. to the right a little bit. And even, even 10 or 15 degrees is nice. Makes a big difference, right? Yeah. So yeah. on this one, what I do is I just stretch my left leg over and then I swing my right leg in here as far as I can and and I find that's enough to where I don't hurt my neck. People asked about it the other day in the uh, mulcher video where I was going yeah. backwards. And, I, and again, I drove with my left foot the whole time and it didn't bother me at all. Okay, so. cool. You want to try this thing for a little bit? I'll wait till another day. Okay. It's raining. Yes, Did you it notice? Is. No, I was actually kind of having fun. I could tell you were. <laughs> I'm not very good and I'm slow at it. I mean, I thought you were fine. Did, did you feel comfortable? Yes. I think because I know how to drive the tractor. Yeah. I mean, you looked you looked comfortable with it. I didn't really see any. I thought I was doing pretty good of, of getting close to the trees. Maybe not as close as you would, but... I yeah. would get better at that the more I used it. I, you can't expect too much out of the first 30 minutes or 40 Yeah, minutes. that's the same way with anybody, and it seemed to me like you were doing a fine job with it. I'm yelling again. It's not really something that's hard to use. This is a Rhino TWF-14. It's the one series twister, four foot. That's what the 14 means. Uh, but it's, uh, it's handy, the tractor handles it nice. I was surprised at how big a stuff I could run over. Yeah. Happy about that, but I kept looking at you like, uh, should I try that? Well, I, I really don't think you're going to hurt. I think the most likely thing to hurt is the blade. Okay. Now, you could put some dents in the, in the top of it or in the side of it. That's not really long-term damage other than just aesthetics, right? Okay. But the blades, uh, you know, what are blades? Maybe $40, I don't know. Uh, for a pair of blades. I, I don't know how much they are, but they're not incredibly expensive for a mower this size. So I don't so think there's a... Mess it up. Yeah, I don't think there's a huge amount of risk. I uh, I saw how you were picking the mower up and, and going over and then setting it down. You want to make sure you get it down as quickly as you can because when you're mowing with it real high like that, it's more apt to throw stuff out. Oh, okay. So that's one thing I noticed. And uh, I do have on my safety glasses. Yeah. Sometimes you'll say the camera was too close. Well, a lot of those times I set the camera down and, and backed way away. Yeah, how do you like trying to keep up with the tractor? I think that's a great job for you. Next time we're gonna add in trying to fly the drone at the same time. No, I think uh, I need more training. <laughs> need you just more want training. more tractor time. <laughs> hey, of course I do. After all, what's the name of this channel? Tractor Time with Christy. I even lost that. I hope you guys have enjoyed this and uh, ladies out there, I hope you can see that it's can, doable. This tractor is small, it's entirely uh, yeah. comfortable. I don't think yeah. you're going to have any issue handling the tractor. Um, no. If you've been on the fence, go get the little tractor. Um, and go get a Rhino TW14 and you can mow up your brush a yard just like Christy did. Yay, there's more to go. <laughs> Don't you need to go somewhere tomorrow? Uh-oh. Like, another state and come <laughs> back a day or two later? We don't have that much yard. Hey, thanks for watching, everybody. We'll see you next time on Tractor, Tractor time, time with, with Tim. Tim and Christy. <laughs> I'm gonna get my own channel. Yeah, you should. But then I would lose my best editor. That's true. I like this. Okay, it's raining. Time to go to the barn.